Mi 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 dumb rice, motherfuckers. How you doing? Okay, so I kind of like the feel of um, of Instagram lives. I know that it's a small audience. I don't care. I am. Uh, I've been banned from TikTok yet again. Uh, Ten thousand. Uh, 10,000 followers down the drain. So, uh, so far, uh, you know, they're telling me, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what, that's like 85,000 followers. 85,000 people were interested enough to follow me on TikTok. And 85,000 have now been denied the dub. It's a travesty. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. Doug Rice, how are you? Another day, Sunday, 8 8 2021. I kind of like the whole feel of Instagram. I do. I kind of like the whole. I do. Uh, not too many people follow me. I'm cool with that. I don't fucking care. Good afternoon. How are you? Sunshine 16. How you doing today? Decided to uh, get on here, you know, get a little bit off my chest. Let's go over the news. Let's see what's fucking going on. You know, I can deal with an audience of one. I can deal with an audience of zero. Uh, and I think be just as uh, effective in my mind. Now, they don't, I will tell you, they do not let me post my Instagram lives. I've written to them about this. Facebook does not like vocal male negrosity. Yeah, I mean, I coined caucasity in my estimation. In my humble opinion, caucasity is mine. Hello, hello, and hello. Hello, 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 hello. Share, share, share. Let your friends know I'm here. They may get hooked. I don't know. Maybe they'll get used to me. But So I am expressing today acute negrosity. I've decided to use that term in reference to myself because, you know, they need a better way to express what they think this is, and who better than to tell them what we are expressing than us. See, they don't get to tell us about us anymore. Those days are done. We now express negrosity. Negrosity, in my humble opinion, negrosity is the rejection, the active, the proactive rejection of caucasity. What do you think, guys? I think so. I'm, 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 uh, I'm expressing negrosity. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody. That's what this is. If uh, if they need to coin a phrase, if they need to say what we're, what I'm doing, I don't speak for anybody. I speak for me. And I have a goddamned attitude. I know, right? Openly expressing a black male attitude. That is some risky shit. Y'all know that, right? Anything could happen. Anything! Authorities could get called on me. Anything. I'm glad there are just three of you. I mean, for God's sake. I'm taking my life in my own hands by expressing open dissatisfaction with caucasity. No, I'm not a Negro that sings and dances and, you know, makes everybody feel good. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to kind of wake you up, let you know as black people in this country, as Negroes, we need to separate ourselves. Now, I know that comes as a shock, especially in the United Snakes of America. Well, everybody says, you know, we should you know, be all this one nation and shit. But see, that's not really what they're doing. They're not expressing that. They're not doing that, and they don't mean that shit. If they meant that shit, I could see it, but they don't. See, there are conditions that they want everybody together in one glommed, compliant, uniform way. Everyone on code. And there they have the hierarchy built in. The caste system. The unspoken caste system of the United States. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm not supporting that shit for a fucking second. My eyes are open. I know what they want. They can't have it from me. Not anymore. I disagree openly. I'm not the first, won't be the last. Okay? 
What I did was uh, I took a look at the facts. I stopped listening to what they're saying. And I started paying more attention to what the fuck they are doing. And if you do that, I invite Negroes to do that. Negroes everywhere. Just pay attention to what they are doing. I, you know, I think mouth can be made to say any fucking thing. I want to see the actions of my oppressors. Anyway. So I've been banned on uh, <clears throat> been banned on YouTube until tomorrow, I suppose. I can deal with that. I was off for a week. Now let me just tell you folks something you need to know, all three of you. Okay? <laughs> okay? I was banned on YouTube because I told the truth about the vaccine. I quoted the World Health Organization regarding information involving these vaccines, and they said that I could not openly uh, contradict the World Health Organization. They could not stand me, hey Tina, they said no. We cannot permit that you have openly contradicted. No, I'm like, contradict? Is that a law? I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit, I'm a little, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little short on that one. Who, at what law does it state I cannot contradict the World Health Organization? For instance, let's just say they said the sky was blue. And I said, no, the sky is an opaque, you know, tube or something like that. Contradicting the World Health Organization uh, I can't imagine the penalty for that, but for me, it was for the removal of the information I provided regarding uh, the vaccine. Folks, let me tell you something about this vaccine. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, the vaccine is a gun pointed at Negroes. And you may not like this, but there's just something sinister about this whole shit. You know, I mean, look, you know, I'm looking, hey, what's up? I'm looking at shit from askew and looking at the, I mean, what the fuck? How the shit came about, how the fucking virus came about, how it moved, how it mutated, how it did all this shit. Now it's in, fuck, it's in fourth delta. It's in its fourth variation. What is it that's going on here? And you want me to take these concoctions, one of which you won't tell me what's in it. Moderna vaccine. Proprietary substance. You want to take a syringe. Spencer, how are you? You want to take a syringe? You want to poke it in me? I understand that it's all good. If it's all good, then let it be all good. 50% of the United States has the vaccine. I think that should be it. That, that's a wrap. We're good. Success. I think they'd go a lot further if they just said, listen, if you want to take the vaccine, it's free. If you don't want to take the vaccine, stay at home, wear a mask, and have a nice life. That's it. I'm good with that. But the moment they say take the vaccine or else, I know we're going to have a problem. Yeah, we're going to have a problem. If they say take, take the vaccine or else, it's going to be a problem. I mean, I'm just, it, it, look, folks. They mandate the vaccine. A lot of people are going to look at that negatively, and I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be enjoining in the whole let's jump on the vaccine wagon. To me, it is. How are you doing there, Spencer? How are you doing there? Stronger? Uh, yeah, I can't do it. And so I was banned from TikTok for telling folks about the vaccine from the World Health Organization's material. And when that happened, I realized I was in a no-win situation, and I understood, you know, these powers are much larger than me. All I can do is just tell you about them. There's no beating anybody. I don't want you to think that. Don't pick up arms. No, this isn't a fucking revolution. You understand? Doug Rice don't foment that bullshit. In fact, I say stay the fucking place and wait for the kingdom. So very few will wait for the kingdom. You know how many... You know how many people are going to be left? You have any fucking idea how many folks are just going to be rebellious to the very end in just refusing the Creator's mandate and understanding His will 
be done on earth as it is in heaven, in paradise. So, when human beings, when well, they got their little setups, man, they're nice. They're set up nice out here, huh? I don't want to give that shit up. Not easily. Hmm. When it's made abundantly clear to these heathens that the Most High God has returned to wipe clear the earth of all current governments and and then will put his government, his kingdom on the planet. But let me just tell you the, let me give you the, the peace de resistance. Let me give you the, the cherry on top of this shit. They're a little bit vigorous about their shit going away and new shit coming, but when they find out that it will be Negroes who usher in representation of God's kingdom on this planet, that's when the shit's going to hit the fan. Now, do you guys read the Bible or not? Let me tell you something. You don't understand why these folks are getting vigorous. The ones that are getting vigorous are the ones that actually read Scripture. The ones that read Scripture, they're, boy, they're mad as hell because they know changing of the guard is about to occur. They keep saying something's getting taken from them. As above, so below. All things that occurred in the unseen realm resonate and manifest themselves in this seen realm. It happens continuously, and it is why we are here, to recognize that. Everything that y'all go through, the hate, you know, the betrayal, the hatred, the love, the hate, all that shit, creator went through it first. Best friend turns on you, creator went through it first. Family fucks you over, creator went through it first. So what we're here to do is to live through that expression of what's going on in the unseen world and recognize that everything happening around us is an expression of it into this. That's all. simple, plain. And God's will will be done on earth as it is in that unseen realm. He told us to pray for it. So our Father... That's the first thing I want you to know who we are talking about. And wait till daddy gets home. Who art in heaven? Where is dad right now? Okay. Hallowed be thy name. By thy name be most holy of that supreme being. And then, okay, so those three things are about God, the personages of God. Personage of God. So let's just call that one general subject. So the first thing after the prime thing is thy kingdom come and then thy will be done. And where on earth as it is where happening now in the heavens, we're done. I don't need to fucking vote for Biden. I don't need Kamala. I don't need Trump. I don't need Republicans. I don't need Democrats. I don't need none of these bipedal fucking walking ass, breathing, stinking human being. Tell me shit. The kingdom approaches. That's all. That's the, let me tell you something, folks. That's the number one fear they have. Us believing that in mass. And I'm going to tell you something. The reason they're scared of black unity is not that we're going to fuck something up. No. They're scared of our faith. They're scared of our spirituality. They're scared of the fact that we might get on our knees and collectively pray to the Most High God for their destruction. And if we do that, there's a good chance God might, might hear us. Now, that's a hell of a thing to be afraid of, isn't it? It's true. That's what they're afraid of. Y'all need to check my math. They're frightened of Negro unity only for one reason. They know that Negro unity defeated them as we were surrounded in the wilderness. You ever get a bad vibe off a Gentile? You ever get one, maybe a Moabite or, a, you know. I mean, how many were the Cushites, Moabites, Hittites, all these motherfuckers, right? They're all still here. Y'all sitting there reading the Bible, act like that shit's history. No, no. All of the nations that, that we defeated as Hebrews in the wilderness are still here. And guess what? They remember us defeating them. Now, they may not remember it as a memory, but they 
feel that shit. Can you imagine the creator of all things coming to your rescue and fucking somebody up? You're going to remember that down generations ad infinitum. You're going to feel that psychic energy roll through your body every fucking time you are near a Hebrew. That's why they wanted us enslaved. World history revolves around the enslavement of Hebrews and the creation of the nation that does so. It's a long-term plot that took hundreds of years to work out. Don't you understand how long they've been reading the Bible? Why do they have these Council of Nicaea, Council of Trent, adjusting scriptures so that it veers away from certain topics that give a clear indication of who the fuck is who and what the fuck is what. They remove those books. They remove the book of Enoch. And they say that the story is just too fantastical. No, I believe there's a, there's a portion of Enoch that you'd rather not have everybody read. There's a portion of Maccabees that think you really want people reading in mass. Yeah, Tobit. There's some shit in Tobit you'd rather just forget about. I mean, you know, I mean, let's try to let's try to guide this shit as best we can away from us. That's what's going on. World history revolves around Negroes. I bet that pisses motherfuckers off. <sighs> Feels so good to say. Yeah, both world wars. Yeah. Second World War, that was about white supremacy. Right? Right? World wars about white supremacy. Who are they trying to be supreme over exactly? What? Whose noses they shot off in Egypt? Oh. Motherfuckers walk around terrified of being replaced. Now they're screaming it to high heavens. You can't replace us. Nobody's trying to replace you, motherfucker. No. See, when your time is done, it's not a replacement. It's your time being over. There's no... Nobody's, nobody's jipping you of your time and then replacing you to finish your time. No, 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 no. That's not what's going on. Let me, let me put this in perspective. You see, the time of the Gentiles is about to come to a crushing fucking end. And then... See this face? Get used to it. They're going to be so fucking mad. They are. They will fight God rather than allow Hebrews to fulfill his purpose. Fulfilling God's purpose. What is God's purpose? Real simple. True worship around the globe, worshiping the true God. Getting everybody in line. Mm. And then new books will be opened. And then who knows what the hell might be waiting for us that we can go do and get the fuck off this planet so we can get some rest and shit. Yeah. We, we, we've been waiting for you motherfuckers to leave for a long time. You, you, you're supposed to be gone. Yeah, a while back. Yeah, but foreign booty. Mm. So anyway, um, I'm going to be back on uh, YouTube Live probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to have to grow the fucking TikTok account again. TikTok account is Doug Rice I I I. Doug Rice I I I the third. Uh, or Doug Rice the one and only. I might just go back and forth because Doug Rice the one and only is the same title as the YouTube Live. So maybe I'll just cultivate Doug Rice the one and only and we'll just go that way. 
go that route. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Hopefully you are. Listen, folks, the time is just now to wake up. That's all. Just to wake up and realize that we're waiting for something that will never happen. We're waiting for motherfuckers to correct themselves, and we need to stop. Seriously, we need to stop. The kingdom approaches. It's just that fucking simple. You know, stop trying to wait for these motherfuckers to get it. Not only that, stop trying to be so goddamn friendly. You know, we gotta be friends? Jesus, come get that goddamn grin off your fucking faces. Jesus. Do they gotta show how they feel about you every day for us to finally get it and just say, you know what, maybe we should stop smiling at these motherfuckers. Maybe it's just time for us to stop grinning and cheesing in their fucking faces. Just long enough for them to understand we're no longer grinning and cheesing in your fucking faces. Why? Why is that so difficult? Why is it so difficult for brothers and sisters to walk around with a serious countenance? One that expresses no tomfoolery around. No. One that at least conveys, I'm not here to fucking put you at ease. If you are made uncomfortable by my lack of a smile, so goddamned be it. This is what we need to convey. Why do you have an attitude? Why do we have an attitude? Tell you what, sir, Google the term black news and then shut the fuck up. And I mean that shit. I no longer give a fuck about the ones who claim to be for us but do nothing except talk at us about what we're talking about amongst ourselves. For God's sake, they got so much vigorous energy for brothers and sisters that talk about white supremacy, and they want to talk to me all day. They want to be in my goddamn grill continuously. They want to tell me that you're a hate monger, you're racist, and you're divisional, and you're this and that. But I look at them and say, you do know I'm talking about proud boys, right? And then they have nothing to say. They tell me that racism is a thing of the past. If you consider the past two minutes ago, I agree. What the fuck are you talking about? Here's the problem. The ones that claim they're on our sides are in a fucking fog of denial and bullshit. Seriously. We can't do shit about white supremacy. Nothing. And just to give you a follow-up to that thought... They won't do shit. Two fucking trains of thought. One, it benefits them. Two, they just don't see it. <laughs> they refuse to look. They really refuse to look. Let me tell you something. Some of them just refuse to, they don't associate with such people. Well, I need to tell you something, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You choosing not to associate with such low-class racists, white supremacists, does not somehow make these motherfuckers disappear. Do you understand? They don't give two fucks about whether or not you believe in them, believe that they exist. They don't care. What's more, they don't give a fuck about you. You said, I mean, this is, this is I mean, oh, thank you so much, Von Dees. This is just the truth. We need to stop playing games. That's all. How many of us need to be victims before we realize, I don't think they're going to stop. I don't think they're going to stop, folks. I don't think they're going to stop fucking us up, killing us, arresting us illegally, murdering us in the streets, filling us full of fucking bullet holes and excusing motherfuckers who do just hate this shit, you know? I mean, the fact that motherfuckers are still walking around who ran into the capital of this country and decided to just act a zip damn fool. These fools are getting 180 days, case dismissed, time served. They went into the capital. They weren't these were not tourists. Motherfucker got murdered, got killed. One and the other. Murdered and killed. Cop got murdered. Protester got killed. Protester. Fucking give me a break insurrectionists one of them got their fucking ass handed to her now she's suing her family is suing the United States for 10 million dollars for wrongful death in that the man gave no warning 
Well, folks, I don't know that they really looked at the video. I have studied it in depth, and warning was given. Case dismissed. I'm just, I mean, it's not, it's not that many. Just listen, every one of us has only held this in, Von D's. That's all. We're all like this. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say it more directly. Black men, we're all like this. I'm going to say, I want you to know. Black men, this is us opening our fucking mouth. I'm just telling you what's up. Now, the majority of us just don't, they were so used to keeping quiet and swallowing it, fucking sin eating, having to endure. You have, you have no idea this shit. Had a lady come in, work for me. I was at Adair Total Home. And guess what? The person, <laughs> there are people on this platform that know this is a true story. I'm hiring people to work, paying them good money. Interviewed some lady, referred to by another one who worked for me. She left, and told her she had the job. The referee came to me and said, guess what, sir? She won't be coming back. I said, why? She said she can't and she won't work for a black man and you want me to somehow co-sign this shit uh, I don't know I don't think I, when we say white people see now I'm going to get to that Von D's. white people got to be eliminated not not Caucasian not human beings. Not, no, no, no. I'm talking about the hybrid humans that are running this shit. Look, some of them are just plain to see. Some of the association they have with these beings that we will probably never lay full gaze on them. If you look at some of these motherfuckers and how they are transitioning their look as they get older, they take all the hair off their fucking face they bald themselves, look like some translucent fucking alien, and you're looking at these motherfuckers go, Bezos, what happened? I mean, I just want to talk Bezos. Tell me something, baby. What happened? What the fuck? I remember when you was all right. What the fuck happened to you? What the fuck is your problem? Huh? How'd your wife leave you, Jeff? Your wife, listen to me, bro. When they leave a fucking billionaire, when they leave the richest motherfucker on earth, you're doing something. You do. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I mean, I'm just saying. I, I don't think that my my next question is a question I'll be asking all the time. Why is it a bunch of white women running shit? The reason is because it was planned this way, Von D's. Before white supremacy, there was no thought of skin tone. There was no color. There was no racism. Was not a thing. It was tribalism tribalism and see this shit's been done before in Babylon they came together the same dumb shit let's let's screw God's intention let's all come together in one let's build a tower so God's like uh, excuse me language yeah get the fuck out of here what the fuck's wrong with you guys I didn't do that I didn't tell you to fucking do that what the fuck's going on right so now in knowing scripture and what must occur, before they enslave Hebrews, something they knew would happen, they had to have a way of identifying us juxtapos juxtaposed to them. And so from, in my opinion, from the depths of hell, from, from, from demon thought, came this idea of white supremacy, came the idea of denying a specific segment of this population, melanin, infusing RH negative blood into this. You know, the whole myth of vampires came from motherfuckers coming up missing. So, I mean, right after the Dark Ages, motherfuckers got out the Dark Ages, here come the Moors, motherfuckers trying to help these crazy looking folks. All of them got hair. Where did he come from? People trying to figure it out. Pretty intelligent. RH negative, pretty intelligent, no melanin, intelligent, sensitive to light, hair all over the body. They're, uh, you have to understand, when you see those uh, Renaissance photos and they've got 
clothing that covers them from here to here. Nothing. Seeing here, you see what they were what they were they were hiding was all the hair on their body. When the Moors found these folks in caves, devoid of melanin, intelligent but ignorant, learned rather quickly, fucking their animals. Sorry folks, that's what they were doing. No surnames. Okay? Those individuals were a product of a long-term implementation, the infusion of the removal of melanin and the introduction of white superiority. After the Moors created their universities and places of higher learning, then the ripoffs started coming. Folks started reaching down into Egypt and stealing their philosophies. The Germanic tribes, realizing their development was intertwined with these beings, Y'all don't have, you, you do know that this is all a planned event. And so Spain at this point is now continuing to stir. 1492, white supremacy is just peeking its ugly head. Here comes Columbus. And between 1492 and 1619, white supremacy took a fucking stranglehold on Europe. To the point where these motherfucking Anglo-Saxon motherfuckers mixture of these Germanic tribes mixture, they just had to get the fuck on. Y'all know. But they knew there was a tribe that if you had the if you had possession of Hebrews, you would create a world power. And just as in scripture it says, let us get together and do this thing, cause them to forget who they are. You have to understand, these, these, the, 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 the sinister plot to enslave us came with the reward and creation of the United Snakes of America. All of these nations prior to the United Snakes possessing Negroes became a world power. Came and went. And just to happen to the greatest uh, empire of all time, the Persian Empire of Xerxes, he fell. He fell. Empires come, empires go. The kingdom is the only empire that will last for eternity. And even then, even the first thousand years is going to come with some turmoil. We're nowhere near done. So, what happened to the greatest empire of all time, Persian Empire? Fine, we'll go, done, dust. Like every human endeavor, apart from the most high God. There's not a thing human beings are going to do to impress God or outdo him. So, and we have, we have fantasies about this shit going on forever. We put them in movies. We have fantasies about taking war into, into God's creation. We future it 10, 20,000 years down the line. We're in space. You think God's going to allow that to happen? Let me tell you something. You know why they're making a mad dash for space? Because they're not going to make it. <laughs> and they know they ain't going to make it. Yeah, they're not going to make it. You do understand that, right? They're not going to make it. God's not going to let this mess go out there. Not going to happen. Confined to this solar system, we can do very little damage. There's something approaching this planet. Been coming to us since 84, 85. Now, y'all can call it the winged planet. Y'all can call it Nibiru. I don't care what you call it. They identified it. They told about it. They made a big stink about it. I was alive at that point. NASA just went crazy. And then they hushed it up. And the thing's been coming at us since the 80s. Now, it's affecting the sun's corona. We're getting fucking warnings of EM fields. We're getting earthquakes. The, the earth is trembling at what's pushing force this way. Whatever is coming this way has such power and come and as such from behind, whatever's, whatever's pushing it is affecting everything in this sector of space. And it's a fucking fact. We talk about what's going on in this planet. I'm trying to tell y'all something. What's going on in this motherfucker ain't shit. This shit's just going what it's doing. But what's coming they don't want to talk about it. 
Uh, where are these aliens that they say we talking like they talk about good? They be hiding, but these aliens. Let me say, I'll tell you what they are. The aliens are right over there in these little hidden areas. They got these motherfuckers, and you know where they came from underneath us. That's where they came from. Now, could they be interdimensional? Maybe I don't know. But in order for them to have physical form, they had to be somewhere. I'm going to tell you again, Hitler used a medium. Hitler used a medium. Blonde-haired, blue-eyed medium. Like Endora, or Endora, I believe, that Saul went to see. God told him not to go see her. This blonde-haired, blue-eyed chick who just chanted with mediums was told by whatever she communicated with to have Hitler send people to Antarctica. And guess what they found, shit? And that shit, that technology, is what's being hidden from us today. But they've reinforced their mythological belief of white supremacy in that whole... I mean, you guys understand, you know, the, the, the myth of, the, the, of, of Atlantis. That's kind of where Hitler gets his dumbness from. And this puffed up notion of blue hair, blonde, uh, blue eyes, blonde hair, white translucent skin somehow being of superior make when genetically it's shown to be of recessive genetic makeup. The, <laughs> sorry, the... There's recessive and there's dominant. Dominant genetic makeups include curly hair, brown skin, and brown eyes. Blue eyes, blonde hair, and light skin is a, uh, well, it's an indicator of recessive DNA, recessive genetic marker. And so everything is opposite, up is down, you know, in is out. Everything, we live in a world of as above, so below, where, so everything they're promoting, their greatness, their white supremacy, has to be some sort of indication of their knowledge of the fact that they're recessive genetically. Now, infused into that, denied that melanin, refused, infused into that, obviously, is Rh negative blood. Very important that we understand about Rh negative blood. It is foreign, alien DNA. They don't know where it comes from. And those with it, coupled with other factors are slightly more intelligent. They are. They are. Slightly more intelligent. And that's all it really takes. For a motherfucker to actually believe and know that, but you're able to trace it to an interference. Somebody denied melanin and infused RH. There's something, there's some fuckeries afoot. Now you look up stars who are RH negative. Look up famous people. I'll tell you who a lot of them are. Actors. They're able to read and memorize entire scripts. Don't act as if I don't know what the fuck is happening because I can piece it all together for you. White supremacy is a buffer. It separates us from whoever these motherfuckers are talking to. Whoever they are emulating. Whoever they keep trying to make themselves look like. That's the danger. It's why I don't like white supremacy because it's basically a tool. We think, we're made to think it's based on superiority. I believe it's based on fear. Black person gets in front of one of the fallen and says, oh Lord Jesus, and that probably hurts. Jesus set the tone. We have a slight power over the fallen. They gotta ask us for favors. You do know, fallen angels, have asked us for favors. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. So don't sit here and act like we don't have a bit of... As Hebrews, now I don't know the rest of these melanin void creatures, but Hebrews, we don't have to worry about demons. We don't have to worry about none of that shit. They stay the fuck away from us because the minute we utter Yeshua's name, they don't even, they don't even deal with... I mean, they learned a lesson when Jesus cast a few of them in the swine. So they know not to come near us. And so they've devised white supremacy. It's a two-edged sword. It's created to a, create a caste system of control that you can't really escape from, and also a buffer that keeps Negroes, the most dangerous entities to demons, 
apart from them. If you don't believe me, show me a black whistle blower. Show me a black whistle blower that's been around aliens. Show me one! You won't find one. It's almost like the aliens tell whoever they're dealing with, you keep Negroes away from us. Which way anarchies and anarchy and Nephilim and all that way? Well, like me, I'm Jamaican, King to Men, Calvary Reigns, God, Gene. Von D, you are, I mean, if you're Jamaican, you're absolutely Hebrew. Uh, I'm my, I, just from what I've studied and what I've come to learn and come to understand, you know, the plot, it's not just one segment of, or one fact. It's not one thing. It's everything coupled together and, and like a sphere, almost like a black hole of information. You just piece the little pieces. You know what's pertinent, what fits. It's a puzzle, man. And these motherfuckers played us. Negroes in America served a purpose. It created this country. That time is over, and these motherfuckers are feeling the grip slip. The first thing that goes is compliance and agreeability. I'm no longer um, in compliance. I suggest every fucking one of us get on code because they're on code. All right, folks, I'm going to get out of here. It's only five. Uh, what time is it? Five minutes to 11. I will do an afternoon show as well. Also, I'm going to do a TikTok, some TikToks as well. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way. So join me, Doug Rice, I, 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 and Doug Rice, the one and only. I'm going to just go back and forth. Boom.